Hey, welcome back to video number two, specifically around what's the great LinkedIn automation tool that you can run simultaneously uh, with your sales sequence in HubSpot or uh, Apollo. And this is the uh, second video. Again, this is around Wallaxi. If you haven't watched the first video, you're going to need to want to watch that. I'm going to include the link in the show notes below. Check it out before you continue with this video so you have better context. So this is the reveal uh, for relaxing the three campaigns that I set up. Let me put it up on the screen real quick. Here we go. Boom. All right. So I put three specific campaigns because I wanted to see the results with each one of these. So for example, uh, for invitation number one, I uh, in just full context, this is around a conference outreach. So there's three different ones. The first one was sent out to 117 people. The other one for AANP is sent out to 94. And then the LASCO, the last one uh, for a conference called ASCO, uh, LASCO, uh, is called, we have 12. So it'll give us a good um, uh, barometer as far as what's the results for each one of these. So if I click on, and again, this tool is called Relaxia, as you can see, if I click on the first one for AACC, um, and now up at the top, what I want to first check out, and I'm excited because I haven't looked at this in about 24 hours. Here's the acceptance rate. So I'm at a 15.3% for this one. Uh, so I'm at level one right now. And just like when you set up your sales sequence, you got to keep in mind, hey, it's like a 30 day campaign. Uh, you know, everybody you reach out to, even if you did this manually, is not going to accept your invite. So of the, uh, let's see, of the 117, I've got 20 uh, that actually accepted the invites. So this is kind of interesting to understand a, a percentage, right? So if you break this down, again, I reached out to, uh, looks like 117 people. So if we did some quick math here, uh, my acceptance rate is about 17%. Uh, for this one. And it's going to be, uh, it's going to vary, right? Um, uh, depending on uh, what your industry is, how many times you're reaching out, those sorts of things. So it's a good barometer. Let's just say, for example, if you're reaching out directly on LinkedIn, you're not going to really know. They don't give you the metric as far as how many people have actually accepted your invite that I know of. I could be wrong. So if you're a more of a LinkedIn expert, uh, feel free to drop some comments below as far as getting some sort of percentage around how many times you've reached out um, to people and how many people have actually accepted that, that would be a cool stat to really understand. But if we get into the analytics of this, and again, I haven't, uh, so there's, so there's actually 137 invitations, 21 were accepted, acceptance rate, again, of 15.3%. So there's my percent, not 17%, it's 15.3%. Um, and if we go back, so that's the first one. So if we go back to campaigns, let's look at the next reveal here, invitation for AANP. This one's a lower one. We got, uh, let's see, 9.6 acceptance rate. And it looks like there's different levels uh, based on Wallaxi. So uh, level zero is this one in particular. So less than 15%, obviously level one. So you want to get the goal is to have a successful landing on your target planet mission accomplished. That's Wallaxi's terms here. So that's a level three. That would be the goal. And probably what I'll end up doing is I'm going to give uh, a third video, uh, record a third video probably in a couple weeks and give another update just to see how the barometers potentially have changed. Again, this one's at 9.6. So if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. And then in two weeks, I'll showcase um, the next, um, the next results for these, just to give it a little bit more time. And then the last one, uh, it's called ASCO, which is coming up. It's a major conference. And then we go, that's the acceptance rate is 7.7. .7. And then if we go into details over here, uh, it looks like one, um, out of 13 have accepted. And the re really the reason I like using Wallaxi at this point is just because it helps automate it for me. It makes me more efficient, more successful instead of manually doing it. So if you think about it, of my all my campaigns going right now, uh, there's over almost close to 300 invites that have been sent out. And so if I would have manually had to do this, right, it would have taken me, I don't know, maybe a minute per invite, maybe it's 30 seconds, but when I can just upload a list to Wallaxi, let Wallaxi do the work, I'm going to continue to do it. Uh, I'm going to also break down a, a different video in the messaging sequence that you can put into this. 
Um, I just put a, um, for my particular campaign for Wallaxi, I did a one message outreach and there's a variety of different messages that you can actually do. You can definitely get it to be more, um, uh, more of like a sequence that you would do on an email with using Wallaxi. So you can actually do a follow-up. And what I've been doing is when I do a first connection, uh, and they accept it, I send a manual email, um, not a email, but a manual um, message back on LinkedIn. So I'm kind of manualizing it. But again, I've only had about 32, if you, as you can see up on the screen, accept my invite. So it's pretty, pretty manageable. Now, there's also a limitation on how many people you can reach out to on LinkedIn. I believe from what I last read, it's about 80 to 100 people as of, you know, this, this particular video recording that may change, but um, we'll see. So my third, my third video is going to be around, again, giving some longevity to these campaigns, seeing if the results get any better when it comes to the acceptance rate. Uh, so again, you're going to want to hit the subscribe button to get that notification. Uh, if you found this video helpful, also hit the subscribe button, like, comment. Uh, if you're using another LinkedIn automation tool that maybe is better than Wallaxi, I'd love to learn about it. So hit me up in the comment section. Hopefully this has been helpful. Bye for now.